folks, here we are, Sunday afternoon, Sunday morning, I'm sorry, uh, July something, 24, I think, and we're passing by where we were a week ago, and on our way to the Harry Nice Bridge. Things have been kind of okay, it's really hot, uh, we're heading to, well, about 100 today. So rather than sit in the house in air conditioning, I'm going to go sit in a boat with air conditioning. You can tell a lot of traffic is pushing through fast. They don't believe that there's a cop up ahead, or multiple cops. Um, let's just put it that way, that this is well patrolled. And so we slow down to 35. Ooh. Put the old binders on and get us down. Good. Um, still, you know, boating disabled. I would have been gone, would have been on the boat two days ago, except for the migraine attacks. Um, not very pretty. Not very pretty at all. You can see, look at that. Nine dollars video by mail. Folks, get in, get your your little easy pass. Got what it is, $25, and you, part of that is actual uh, preloading. Over here, they're doing something, but not much. People working today, though, I can see that. Yeah, you can see them up here. Hey, look, there they are. They're wiring. These are probably electricians wiring the lane director. Here's our entry for scanning the old easy pass yeah this is all electrical stuff crews working hard they still have a lot of infrastructure to put in place that's another maybe another gantry overhead but the uh, corral they had here is emptied. I guess, yeah, the, you know, it's, they showed lights on there, so it's still in operation. Big one here. Woo, that's cool. And then, you can see. Isn't that cool? Somebody coming over with the lights on. Ah. Oh. But lane control, there's all the wires for that. Ugh, it's obviously not Bluetooth. God, it's a rough drive. And they've got big girls there, big ones. Don't know what they're doing unless they're holding them there for a while. And as we go along, you can see the beautiful sweep of the bridge. Joints are in. There's still a lot of stuff to go. A whole bunch. And then the crane forest is reduced some more. Tell it's Sunday because the traffic. Um, and I said before the, the 301, which we're on 301 5 or 301 something, is a substitute interstate. There's a lot of work going on down there. Wow, Isn't that amazing. Those are big. And so this gets a lot of bypass from people not wanting to use I-95 
going up through DC and the Beltway. And so you get a lot of East Coast who want to avoid the DC region. And then you also get people who are avoiding I-95 because it's always jammed up. Wow. Getting some work done today. So yeah, this is quite a busy road and having a decent bridge will make it make life easier for all of us. And as you notice that three inch or four inch shoulder on these things isn't quite enough to hold anything. Now we're over on the Virginia shore. road course here. Ugh. Welcome to Virginia and over over there is the Dahlgren Naval Air Naval Support Facility. So uh, you can't see much because that's a forested area. Here we go. Thank you for watching Buenaventura. Please click like and subscribe. Okay, folks. Hit mute here. Okay, folks. It is uh, full of trucks. Um, hopefully the scale is open and they disappear. So, last thing I want to do is follow a trash truck. They're big, they're ugly. At least this one isn't that bad. It doesn't have garbage hanging out of it. And let's see. Oh, come on, people. So, it is uh, Monday. No. Fopa, it is Monday, July 24. 24. Tomorrow, 25. And we're heading home. We're in Virginia. Going to cross the old Harry Nice Bridge to Maryland. still have a truck in front of us. Oh, boo. Okay, so we'll just be nuisance traffic and slow right down. Yeah. Work crew. Working on gantry. Probably more wiring coming up. Because when we went by yesterday, um, these were being wired, at least on the Maryland side. And I'm going to, I'll have to look, I'll have to look at the video. These may be, oh, uh, there's the wiring up there, uh, up there. So these haven't been wired, wired, where they run the cabling into the panels, the display panels. That would have been the arrows. And these are arrows, and X's. Green arrow, red X type thing. There we are, beautiful bridges. <clears throat> traffic is pretty heavy consider it normal for this time of year summer people traveling trucks traveling and it is Monday <clears throat> and oh wow cool don't know what they've got in the bags but they're good and away we go again. Down river, you know, they took out some of the mooring balls. There's only a few left over here. One barge, used to have a lot of barges. This part of the bridge apparently is in good shape. Don't know what's up there because I can't, I'm not tall enough to see if the Jersey barrier is in yet. Cutting concrete, that's something but 
and our Amer uh, the uh, crane farm is there. Kind of cool. They have a lot of them together again. That's they haven't been that way for a, a few weeks. And a lot of people working on the bridge. At least they can drive up now in the pickup. They don't have to walk or take take a boat in. So that's the paving crews right there. They're going to meet somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in there they're going to meet. Nice thing on that new bridge will be smooth. You know, we won't be taking divots from 1940. There we go, that looks so gorgeous. Down river, kind of hazy. It's been in the 90s, mid 90s. Mid 90s, a lot of humidity. And then over here, North, there's a storm coming in. We're supposed to have something. Oh my goodness, we have a crane down there. Cool. So, rather than block the traffic, might as well bring it in on one of the barges that they have around here. So, yeah, this is quite exciting. Because yesterday, one of the one crane was actually here at the dock where the blue crane is, and then they moved it out to middle to work out there. Pretty, pretty cool system. And that the signboard is up. And yesterday, they were wiring. kidney bruiser here. Yahoo! There's the electricians. So one, one of these days we may see the direction board light up with a green arrow, red X, indicating lanes, just to have it in test. Because they have to burn them in. You just don't put something up and expect it to survive. You know, these are electronics, and electronics do fail at times. So there you go. Thank you for watching Buenaventura Life.